All right, so here's the argument, lads. The suit that you're wearing right now does not fit you. Despite what the commission sales guy told you at the time, it either hangs off you like drapery or has the look and feel of a straitjacket. And so it might be time to consider going custom. We've come here to Garrison Bespoke in Toronto to talk to Michael Nagoyan about the luxury of the tailor-made suit. Let's check it out. Be great experiences. So it's your first time having a bespoke suit. First time? Never had a bespoke suit. So let me ask you a little bit about the perception of bespoke. It's very elevated, it's expensive, it's for the elite, it's basically for Bay Street guys and pituitary cases who play for professional basketball and can't get anything off the rack at Banana Republic. Is that a fair characterization. More of our clients are actually from all walks of life here in Toronto, whether um, they work in creative, they're entrepreneurs, even, even guys who work in construction that have no use for a suit on a day-to-day -day basis. You have construction guys? Absolutely. You have plumbers? We have, we have, we have, we have plumbers. We got we everyone. You make suits for plumbers? We do. Really? Special, special pockets or... <laughs> Is that right for the wrench? Absolutely. I like that. Don't forget, you know, it wasn't so long ago that everyone was having their suits made. So it's something that even if you went home to tell your dad or your grandfather, they'd be really proud of the fact that you had a suit made for yourself. Take us through a little bit about the process. We always like to see our clients for an hour the first time through, get to understand your likes, your dislikes when it comes to your clothing um, in the past. I like to understand where you're going to be wearing the suit, what the, what the purpose is. Mm -hmm. And a key thing is to see in person your build, one, in measuring you, but two, your complexion, the color of your skin, the color of your hair to recommend the perfect shade of blue or gray or brown that we go with. I feel like you're peering into my soul. You have a very similar complexion to Daniel Craig. You'll find the fact that he works with a lot of softer tones in his color. So We're going for James Bond. We are. You're a good man. I like you already. So I'm actually going to be measuring the width of your shoulders, but more importantly, I'm just looking at the difference between one and the other. So this measurement here is very, very important. Careful. This is the most awkward measurement I've ever had. Yeah. So the key measurements are the chest, the crotch, the crotch measurement. Do you call it the crotch? We call it the rise. The rise. It's really the crotch. <laughs> it, is, it is the crotch. And what else? And the shoulders. Yeah. And how your how your posture is, whether you're... The deformity measurement, basically my own deformity. I was trying to make you the perfect suit for your perfect body. You're, you're quite a diplomat. You should be a diplomat if, you, if, this, if this stuff doesn't work out for you. Um, okay, so that's it. Beautiful. The suit's phenomenal. What do you think? Looks great on you. I'm a new man. It's the one suit you bring on a trip that you do anything. During the day, in a meeting, during the evening, out at the bar having a drink, the jacket, pair of pants, and then obviously for the ride home, just the pants with the casual shirt. So it's three things in one. It's the like butter. It fits like butter. So let me ask you, are any of your tailors Bangladeshi children under the age of 10? Or? This garment was made one by one here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And obviously with your measurements, now that I've delivered one to you, I can make uh, anything you'd like your measurements. Into. Ethically sourced. Absolutely. All Ethically right. sourced. I feel better now. It's gorgeous. I've never put on a suit that fits this well. It's like magic. You're a magician. Thank you.